What tools do you need to manage your small business? What financial statements do you need to look at? That and more today on Cashflow. Hey, I'm Jason Waters, CEO of JW Financial Group, and welcome to Cashflow, where we talk about the number one goal of your business, which is to create cash flow. Today, we're just going to talk a little bit about cash flow basics. I call it Cash Flow 101 and answer some questions that we often get on cash flow. What is cash flow and why is it essential for businesses? Great question. Um, as if you're a small business owner, you know when you don't have cash flow. So that's why you know it's essential. Um, it hurts. It's painful when you don't have enough money coming in and you got more coming out. So um, obviously that's that's what cash flow feels like. What's cash flow look like, I would say is the question. Cash flow is after I've got money coming in from you know whatever I sell or whatever I do and I've got all my expenses and what is left in the end. And then it's not just what you sell and what you pay for, there's all the changes in the balance sheet that happens every day. Um, it's accounts receivable that goes up. You've sold product, but you haven't been paid. It's payables that have gone down because you've paid them. And so it's all the changes in that that is ultimately what cash flow is. And that's why it's so important to understand it so that you can make good business decisions. What is the significance of preparing cash flow statements? Your accounting system typically will create cash flow statements as long as everything is input right. So if you have correct income statement, correct balance sheet, and, and all your entries are appropriate, then it will create the cash flow statement. So it doesn't matter if you use QuickBooks or Xero or Great Plains or Sage, they will all do that. So but here's, my, here's the biggest question I think is, why is it important to look at those statements that your accounting system can create? Well, it shows the whole picture of how cash moves in and out of your business. So you may have what you think is a good feeling based on your bank account, or you might look at the income statement the, or the balance sheet, but cash flow statement really ties everything together. It ties in together the balance sheet changes. It ties in when you collect your money. It, and on the investing side, it shows what money is going out to you or what money is going out to pay debt. So it really shows you know, the cash moving through the company no matter what. Everything is not on the income statement. That's one thing I want every new business owner to be clear of because uh, they don't realize, you know, when you when you pay debt, that principal portion doesn't flow to the income statement. When you take money for yourself, uh, unless it's salary, that doesn't go through there. So a lot of a lot of new business owners look at I look at their profit and loss and say, "Where's my money?" Well, it came out somewhere else, and that's why it's so important to look at the cash flow statement. Which tools are the best to manage my business cash flow? Great question. If you're looking at uh, what tools your accounting package provides, I would talk about statements. So what statements you need to look at? You need to look at your statement of cash flows. Your statement of cash flows will show where the money's moving in and out of. Um, you want to make sure you really focus in on your accounts receivable and your accounts payable aging because you have to know who I need to pay and when. When's my money coming in? So from a financial standpoint, uh, from a financial statement standpoint, those are the ones to look at. Of course, your income statement and balance sheet, you always need to be aware of. But here's what I would tell you. Make sure whoever's doing your bookkeeping is getting the information in correctly because the information, the reports that you see are only as good as what goes in. So if that's not right going in, it's not going to be right coming out. You're not going to be able to make good decisions. There are a lot of electronic tools out there that may be able to help you. Um, if you use whatever on your accounting package, there are some forecasting tools. Uh, but I would say a cash budget. If you just Google uh, Microsoft Excel cash budget, and the one will pop up. And there's one that for 12 months, 24 months, I would use that and start thinking about when, always be thinking, when is money coming in? When is money coming out? So to recap, your statement of cash flows, your AR aging, your AP aging, and your cash budget are the main four tools that I would use to manage your cash flow. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Cash Flow. You can always reach out to me at Jason Waters, hashtag cash flow. Until next time.